In this video I'm going to show you how to set up um, matrix rights on your store. Um, this is an extension provided by Webshop Apps which is free and allows you to show multiple table rights at once. So I'm not going to do a video on how to use the standard table rights feature in Magento because this one's a lot more flexible. I'm going to start by installing the extension. Grab the extension key and then in my Magento admin, I go to System, Magento Connect, Magento Connect Manager, paste the key in there, and then click Install. Okay, great. So once it's installed, we go back to our admin, and then do System Configuration and then down to delivery methods and it will it will appear in between flat rate and table rates there's quite a lot of configuration that you can play around with I'm just going to show you how to set up basic weight based shipping and price based shipping there is a third option as well which is number of items in the cart um, but for this tutorial I'm just going to show you those two first thing to do is enable it so just set to yes and then save and then I'm going to change my scope to my website view and that then brings the import and export options onto the screen I'm going to first of all do it by weight so I'm going to untick the default option there and then go to weight versus destination and save Now I'm going to export my CSV. I'm going to open it in OpenOffice. And I'm going to clear out any rights that are already in there. Okay. I'm going to do all my rights for the UK. So I'll start off by putting GB as the two letter country code into the first column. And I'm going to do five different rates. I'm not worried about what the state is, or the city, or the postcode at this time. So I'm just going to drag that down for all of them. Okay, this is the bit that I'm interested in. So I'm going to start putting different weights into these columns and assign a different delivery price and type to those weights. So the way I've got my store configured is the weight is calculated in grams. So I'm going to say anything from 0.01 grams, sorry, 0.1 grams to 5,000, which is equivalent to 5 kilograms. We have a price of £3, and that delivery type is light. first class okay I'm going to do the same again so from 0.1 grams to 5,000 this time the price is going to be 150 that's light second class I'm just going to change this to letters just in case it doesn't like those extra characters Okay, now I'm going to go from 5,001 to 10,000. And I'm going to set a price of £5 for that one. So as you can see, I can offer different... Um, types of delivery for the same weight class and this time this one will be four pounds for medium second class finally I'm going to put 10,000 and one I think that's correct to 100,000 
and that price is 50 pounds and it's heavy items so this would mean that matrix rates would not be available if your car exceeds 100,000 grams and I'm not going to put a second delivery type for this one I'm just going to say heavy items 50 pounds that's the price you pay and I'm doing this only for the uh, United Kingdom if I wanted to add extra countries on I could quite easily do that by adding them on below and so on but I'm just going to for this example I'm just going to do the United Kingdom so I'm happy with that so I'm going to save as and the reason why I do that is so that I can make sure it saves in the right format so I'm going to edit filter settings make sure that it saves in UTF-8 which it doesn't always do if you save it without going to save as so I'm happy with that now I'm going to import it into my site make sure I get the right one then click save okay that's been done so if I go to my store I've got an item on there which weighs 5,000 grams which is a 5 kilogram dumbbell I'll add that straight to the cart and then if I because my default country is United Kingdom I'm getting matrix rates brought back automatically so we can see here we've got light second class offered and light first class offered which is exactly right based on what I've set up here the weight is 5000 grams which falls into these two and it's offering those two delivery types if I was to increase the number of items in my cart to two that would increase the overall weight to 10,000 grams and therefore the medium rates are shown below again if we go back to our rates there you can see the weight is between 5001 and 10,000 so it's showing the right rates and then if I was to add further items to the cart you'll be able to see then we've got heavy items 50 pound and that's the only option if I was to add I don't know, 12 of these weights to the cart it still shows up, I've actually not done enough there oh, 50 then the matrix tracks no longer shows because 50 times 5000 grams falls out of 100,000 grams likewise if I was to change my country to another country other than UK then it wouldn't show up either I'm going to set that back to 1 and now I'll show you how to do it with price so I'm going to close this one down and go back to my configuration this time I'm going to change it to price versus destination and save I'll export the CSV Okay, and this one is blank this time we've got order subtotal from and to as options so I'm going to do the same thing as before I'm going to do it for the United Kingdom and I'm not worried about what the county or city is okay my first rate is going to be from one penny to twenty pounds and the delivery price will be three pounds for that one and that will be first class I'm going to do a similar one here from one penny to twenty pounds price is one pound fifty this will be second class finally I'm going to have sorry not finally but finally for the all of the UK I'm going to have 20 pounds one penny and over and 
in the subtotal two, I don't mind how um, high the value is, but you can't put star, so I'm just going to put an extremely unlikely figure, nine, perhaps nine billion or something. If I was to sell that much in one go, then I could retire, so this wouldn't matter too much. And that's going to be free shipping because we're over the 20 pounds. Okay, finally, I'm going to put a special rate in, and that's a postcode rate. So for Northern Ireland, which is all postcodes start with BT, and then I put a percentage mark, which means wildcard characters are in force after the T, which means anything starting with BT onwards would be a Northern Ireland postcode. I can put a star in for two because that doesn't matter. And I'm going to say the same as before. Anything from a penny to 20 pounds. This time because it's Northern Ireland, I'm going to charge them an extra couple of pounds to ship it over the water. And I could do that as many times as I like. I could add different postcodes in there. I'm going to do another one for Northern Ireland here. I'm just going to say if it's £20 or over. Then it's free. I'll make a note that it's Northern Ireland this time. Okay, so that's how you use the postcodes to narrow down which shipping options are available. I'm going to save this now. Make sure I tick edit filter settings, make sure that the format is correct. Then I'm going to go back to my configuration and import my new CSV. So my weight based shipping now doesn't come into effect anymore because I'm using price. If you do want to use both price and weight at the same time, you'll have to, uh, you have to pay more for the premium matrix rates extension, which is also available by web shop apps. I'm sure they won't mind me for plugging that. Okay. So we've got one item in the car now. We're not taking any notice of the weight, which costs 10 pounds. And we've got first class and second class shipping available. If we go to our spreadsheet, then you can see our country. Well, the postcode that's put in there is just a random numbered postcode. It doesn't match the one that we've got here. So all that's been offered is first class shipping and second class shipping because it matches those two rates there. If I was to add three of these will make three of those be in the cart then we're then being offered free delivery and the other two go away because it then moves into this row because the price is between 20 pounds and infinite okay so then what happens if we change our country to sorry our postcode to a northern Ireland postcode You'll see that we get the free shipping Northern Ireland option come up, which is correct because we've got £30 worth of items in our cart, which means it falls into this bracket, Northern Ireland free shipping. And if we reduce the amount of items in our cart to two, we'll get the standard Northern Ireland shipping of £5, which is this one, because it's between one penny and £20. And then we get the free shipping, sorry, not the free shipping, the standard Northern Ireland delivery for five pounds. It's extremely flexible. You can do as many postcodes as you want, as many um, different price ranges and weight ranges as you want. Definitely a better option than using the standard table rates option in Magento and plenty of things that you can configure as well once you're on this page. You can have a go at um, showing free shipping where it only shows that if you want and there's plenty of other things you can add on as well such as handling fees and so on so really great option great extension and that's as easy as it is to set up thanks for watching